What's up, guys? All right, we're going to talk a little bit about the teams that are the most lopsided right now and don't really know what they're doing uh, or are just kind of like hoarding one side of the table with their chips. We're going to talk about... Uh, well, honestly, I want to talk about the Bears, dude. I was looking at the Bears roster today, and it's fucking insane how little... They're, they're literally playing half of the game of football. They're playing half of the full game of football. Like, the game of football is meant to play offense and defense. They're playing half... Of the game. I mean, it's just the classic Bears football team. Bro, it's insane. Yeah. Like, I was looking at the roster. It's like, I was looking at the, at the office. I was like, bro, this is fucking brutal. They're going to suck, dude. They're going to be so bad. But then I looked and I was like, what the fuck, dude? Their defense is fucking Their defense is it's absolutely stacked nailed, still. It's, it's so, absolutely bro, stacked I still. I think it's arguably, like, their secondary definitely got worse. But, like, listen to the starting lineup. Mario Edwards Jr. on the end. In the middle, you got Eddie Goldman. You have Akeem Hicks at the right end, right? And you have Bilal Nichols coming off the bench. Then you have Khalil Mack, Roquan Smith, Dran- Danny Trevathan, and Robert Quinn. So that's three pro bowlers at-, at linebacker, plus Danny Trevathan, who's a Super Bowl winner and should have been at least one-time pro bowler. And then in the backfield, don't get me wrong, the secondary definitely has a lot to like to prove. And, and you have arguably the best standing uh, edge rusher in, in the league in Khalil Mack. Absolutely. You know I mean? Absolutely yeah, the arguably. best standing edge yeah. rusher. And then, mm-hmm. you, well, uh, yeah, he's better than, I'll say he's better than Von Miller now, but... Desmond Trufant and Eddie Jackson in the backfield. And don't get me wrong, Jordan Lucas, I don't know who the hell that a guy is. And I don't know who Jalen Johnson is either. But those guys, I mean, for the most part, like, if they can play average, that's going to be a fucking scary defense. But, dude, I'm looking at the offense. Hold on. Okay. So on their starting offense, left tackle, Charles Lino Jr., left guard, Cody Whitehair, center, Sam Mastifer. Yeah, who? <laughs> <laughs> what a Mastifer. Uh, James Daniels, Jermaine Effetti. Dude, you know that Sam Mustifer is actually my favorite center in the entire NFL. <laughs> big, big Sam Mustifer guy. Dude, their backups, their wide receivers are Darnell. Team Mustif, dude. dude. <laughs> Darnell Mooney, Jimmy Graham, Allen Robinson, Riley Ridley, Javon Wims, and Anthony Miller. And Anthony Miller is probably going to get traded. That, uh, uh, G- like, dude. Andy Jimmy, Jimmy Graham hasn't been good for six years. Yeah. And Andy Dalton and David Montgomery, don't get me wrong. I think David Montgomery is pretty good. He's solid. Like, I mean, I don't like, I think if your team is good, the offense is solid. Like he can be a contributor, but he's not going to fix your problems. Exactly. Like, like he solves your running back problem probably, but he doesn't solve your offensive problem by any means. Like, like Dalvin Cook kind of did solve the Vikings offensive problem. Who's going to get the ball to him? Exactly. Like, like, like you can hand off all you want, but like at the same time, like if you can't pass, they're just going to load the box and don't get. Yeah. It's like, it's like, oh yeah, we're going to rely on Andy Dalton to, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, No, he's a great quarterback. But um, the bigger (laughs) thing for me was like, I was looking at some other teams and the Cowboys, the Cowboys, but this is the Cowboys every year. Like, Cowboys every year uh, are like, we're just going to get the most weapons. We're going to get the most of everything. And then again, playing half the game, dude. Playing half the game. Their offense, their starting offense is Tyron Smith, Lyle Collins, Connor Williams, Zach Martin, and then probably either Tyler Byads or Ty, Ty Nishiki, depending on like where they move the people on the line. But that's a really good offensive that's line. That's a fantastic line. a fantastic offensive line, dude. Like Then it's Amari Cooper. C.D. Who's Lamb. A beast. And Amari Cooper is also not very old. He's yeah, still only he's, like 26 or something, right? Yeah, he's 26 this year. Uh, Amari Cooper, C.D. Lamb, who's, Noah who's Brown, I like C.D. Lamb, yeah. Yeah, and then Michael Gallup, who's a 1,000-yard receiver. Yeah, singer. Michael Gallup's good. So Dak, they're stacked on offense. Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, and Tony Pollard. And they might and they might even trade up to get Kyle Dude, Pitts. They're fucking stacked, bro. Yeah, <laughs> oh, well, my God. <laughs> they're, they're thinking about trading up to get Kyle Pitts, which is stupid. Which would be the most hilarious But, dude, thing here's ever. their defense, dude. Like, here's their defense, bro. It's Demarcus Lawrence, who's had an all right year last year, Antoine Woods, Brent Urban, and Randy Gregory, who hasn't, literally the guy hasn't gotten on the fucking field because he keeps getting suspended, and he's still on a fucking roster, bro. He was drafted in 2015, dude. He hasn't played a single full fucking season. What was he getting suspended for? Just fucking drugs, dude. He just loves fucking weed. I don't know, coke. I don't know what it is, but like... Gotcha. You know, like, hey, A a Josh Gordon type. No fucking judgment here, bro. Like, but... You get drug tested. Yeah. You get drug tested. So, like, at the end of the day, it, it, you're looking at your defense and you're like, dude, like, clearly we're going to get fucking blown out. Every game we're going to get fucking run over. But I guess we'll just have so much fucking offense that it won't matter. But it does matter. It matters every season for you guys. And you guys don't change a fucking well, thing. You just take one linebacker in the fucking first round who's fucking white and you're like, we're fixed. Well, every also, it, it's, it's Jerry Jones. It, he's terrified of becoming irrelevant. 
he would much rather get a couple flashy guys and go eight and eight than, you know, have a couple down years and rebuild your team. Because Jerry doesn't Max. want, he never wants the Cowboys to go three and 13. No. He never wants that to happen. He's not okay but with it. That will never happen. But here's the thing is like the way professional sports works, if you really want to be great, you're going to probably have to have some down years. You know what I mean? Max. Where you like, where you cut away a bunch of guys, you save up a bunch of money so that way you can go get a bunch of guys or something. But it's no team ever is just good every single year. You know, and I don't, I don't think Jerry Jones realizes yeah, uh, that. Well, I mean, the Patriots, but yeah, that's an anomaly, though. Yeah, it's a, f- a freaking agent. Yeah, that's a, that's an anomaly. Okay, we can't compare everyone to the Patriots. Yeah, that. Well, yeah. I'll say I was like, everyone that just heard you is gonna be like Patriots. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But like, you're right. Like, yeah, all, no, the, all the people in comments. Of, no Patriots. Well, Patriots. Well, dude, it's it's like this. Usually, the teams are really really good for like five years. And then even if you end up still being good, you're usually like 9, 7, 10, and 6, like when the Saints were like whatever. And I know they had the whole scandal and whatever, but... That, that's a pretty fair kind of like, yeah, rule Yeah, and then a, almost like a reload. There's reloads, but here's the thing is Jerry Jones hasn't been there in a very long time. Since the fucking 90s, dude. Since fucking 20 years, bro. You're living off 20 years. What the fuck yeah, is wrong with Yeah, and he's like the owner, the GM, dude, the quarterback. take yourself and throw yourself through a play class fucking window and snap back into fucking reality, bro. What the fuck? I mean, he just wants to get Go. flashy guys. He doesn't want to become irrelevant. The only reason the Cowboys are relevant is because they're the Dallas Cowboys. If they were in any other city, they honestly might have even gotten like relocated. Well, look, they're so bad. Well, the other team I wanted to talk about was the Dolphins because I think the Dolphins are going to be like a reload. So I don't, I'm not even thrashing them. I think they are one sided, but I think they're going to be good. Like they're going to be solid. I, I really like that team. So here's their defense, right? Real quick, we're going to talk about that. I mean, they've they've better pieces to start off with. Like Brian Flores is a way better coach than Mike McCarthy. Yeah, and yeah. and then so we had Emmanuel Ogba, who's solid. Raekwon Davis at nose tackle, which is solid. Christian Wilkins at right end, which is solid. And these Jerome, guys are all young. Too. Yeah, these Jerome guys are Baker young. in the middle. Andrew Van Ginkle, which is pretty solid. Then you have Ben Ardrick McKinney, who they traded for, who's fucking a freak. He's like 6'4", 270, and runs like a 4'6". Yeah, he looks like Erlacher, bro. That's almost as fast as yeah. me. And then Sam Aguva, I can't remember. I, can't, I can never pronounce the name. I really apologize, Sam. I, I, I really struggle with uh, pronouncing things, but I know he's a beast. Like, And then Byron Jones, Eric Rowe, Bobby McCann, and Xavier Howard. Like, That's a solid bat. Oh, and I forgot. They, re- they, they signed Justin Coleman. Ooh, dude, that's a solid defense. But here's your offense real quick, right? Devontae Parker, Mike Jasicki, Patrick Laird, Willer, Will Fuller the fifth, Alan Hearns, and Tua. Like, that's your your line, the only solid guy on your line who, I mean, I don't know yet because I, I haven't even looked at Miles line. Gaskin. I mean, he's whatever, though. Like, he's like, like, I, he ever. He's not going to, yeah, he's 3. not going to. 3.7 yards, yeah. bro. 3.7 yards per carry. That's not going to get it done. And, the only guy on this line that I see that I'm like, oh, maybe is Austin Jackson because the their left guard is Eric Flowers and he's average when playing guard and was awful for the Giants. So like, I think here's the thing I think about the Dolphins though is I think the Dolphins understand that I think Brian Flores is really smart and I think he understands that his defense was so good last year. He's like, dude, our defense was nails and I know I can replicate that because I'm a defensive coach. Absolutely. Now I need to focus on my offense. I need to help my young quarterback. I need a line A and then B. I need pass catchers and skill players. Yeah, well, I mean, like to to have played how rookie quarterbacks typically play last year. They're giving him some weapons this year, and they're going to find out probably by Thanksgiving if Tua is their guy or not. Exactly, and that's what you should do. You should find out who your guy is right now. Give him a chance. You exactly. know, give him a chance, and give so chance. that way you know they're like, okay, we gave you weapons, and you know it just didn't work out. Bro, they have a ton of first round picks now. Like if they if Tua isn't their guy, they can still go get a guy. That's like true. they're going to have enough capital to either a trade up or b take multiple shots at it. Mm-hmm. So that's my whole thing with quarterbacks. Is like if you don't have a quarterback, it doesn't matter. It nothing matters. It does not matter. Like pu- the days of winning with Trent Dilfer's are fucking it's over. over. It's yeah. over, dude. It's over, dude. You're not gonna grind it and grind out like people are like. Oh well, the pa- pa- the Buccaneers grind it. It's like yeah, but they also Tom fucking Brady, dude. Like yeah, that helps. They're like oh well, Nick Foles. It's like bro, Nick Foles had an incredible game. Yeah, like, and also you're not gonna play poorly and win the Super Bowl anymore. It's not gonna fucking happen, dude. Mm-hmm. And Nick Foles also had insane weapons around him too. Yeah, dude, and it's like. Well, it, it it all comes down to this. Like you, you need you need the the finesse now with the quarterback. Well, dude, if you're if you haven't had a quarterback like a good quarterback since Dan Marino, how are you not taking a quarterback in the first round every other fucking year? 
It actually literally has been that long. And I get because yeah. like owners are like, oh, well, you can't waste capital because we might get the wrong quarterback. It's like, what if I get the best quarterback ever? I, I mean, but what better position to take a risk on than quarterback? Quarterback. That yeah. doesn't make any what sense. What if he's the best player ever at that position? That's the most important position in football, maybe in all of sports. And when you have the best quarterback, it tends to be that you win a lot, like Tom Brady, like Patrick Mahomes, like, you know, fucking Aaron Rodgers, like like these guys, like where you consistently win, breeze, like all these guys, like, dude, you... Without one of the top five quarterbacks in the league, it is very hard to win a Super Bowl. And if you have that guy, you usually have him for like 10 to 15 years. So swing, motherfucker. Swing, dude. What the fuck? doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make doesn't. any sense. If you care about your job as a general manager, literally walk up to your owner and be like, listen, bro, we straight up cannot win multiple Super Bowls without a great quarterback. So we need a great quarterback. So we need to make sure we get that guy. And I need and, money for and it. And if we don't have that guy, we need to keep trying to get that guy. We can't just stop. That needs to be your number one focus as a general manager from day fucking one. That's why a lot of GMs love going to spots that already have a quarterback. Because they're like, dude. I'm of course, chill. you have the easiest part dealt with. Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm done. Like. Yeah, do you realize like how sick it would be if you're if you're like the Chiefs are just hiring a new GM and it's yeah, like, yeah, oh, by the way, you just have Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes as your as your, you know. Exactly. Like that would that would be a dream. Yeah. But no, I mean having a good quarterback, that that rules the roost in the NFL. You're you you can have a you cannot have a great team without a good quarterback. You can have a a good quarterback will make a mediocre team competitive. Exactly. And so and like, it's not the other way around. It is not, not the, the other, other way, way around. around. Like, you can win the defense. Don't get me wrong. But your quarterback still needs to be good. Like, Yeah, it, but still, it's not that 85 Bears. Yeah, it's, you're not yeah. going to just ground and pound this game. It's not going to happen that Yeah, far. no Jim McMahons are going to be winning Super Bowls anymore. No way, yeah. bro. Like, it's not going to play like that anymore. And I think, I think everyone understands that now. But, like... I think people are still too scared. Well, the Bears don't understand that now. I think they do, but I think I honestly think Ryan Pace is so fucking scared just to like even try to take someone. Why does that? Why is that? I think he's a. They're like, okay, you were wrong, and you you're fired now. Or B, it's like I'm gonna fuck up again. Because it's like here in Chicago, we only take defense. If you want to draft a quarterback, this guy better be good. Yeah, it's like, yeah. exactly, literally, exactly, like. And it's like, I told you, we should have gotten a nose guard. Bro, like, we should have gotten a nose guard. When you're bad every year. Every year. When your offense is bad every year. Your offense is bad every year. Like, which makes the in, which in turn makes them bad. Even when they're good, they double doinked it. You know dude, what I mean? It's like, even with Rex Grossman, like, they, he threw 23 touchdowns to 20 picks. Was that, did, was that really his season? The season they went to the Super Bowl, yeah. He threw 23 touchdowns and 20 picks. Yeah. That was the season they went to the Super yeah, Bowl. Yeah, they went to the Super Bowl. Good God, dude. Bro, being a Bears fucking fan, embarrassing, dude. Dude, being a Bears fan You're not even suck. trying, dude. Must like, you're suck. not trying. Just take one in the third round. Take a quarterback in the third round every year. Every year until you find someone. Dude, that's the, the Bears. Bears fucking suck, dude. Like because like they're not a fun team. Why to watch. would you want to watch them, bro? They're awful. It's they're just frustrating, terrible. and they don't even give a fuck about their fans because they've never even tried to get a quarterback that anyone can get behind. And then they fucking lambasted fucking Mitch on his way out too. Like it's like, bro, you never put things around Mitch to help him. You never tried to help Mitch. You've never had a good offensive line, and you're literally doing the same things every fucking year, dude. And you're like, oh, like we're just gonna run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. Bro, there's a reason we only talk about the Bears in defense is because you've never had a good offense and you kind of need that to win. That's 100%. why you guys always talk about the 85 Bears because that's your only fucking Super Bowl. Yeah, it's like for some reason they give their quarterback DMT before every game. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. But the, the, I mean, yeah, those are some pretty long teams for sure. Yeah.